All right, welcome to Dart University. This is Engine Building 101. Now, a lot of times people have problems with valve train geometry, getting everything set up right. Now, there's a good reason to get it done correctly because you're gonna have valve train problems. You know, you, first of all, you can just lose power. Now, we don't wanna lose power because we're all out there to have a good time. But you can get wear, you can wear your parts out sooner, or you can get severe damage. Now, if you don't get everything set up right, you might end up losing valves, guides, and trashing a whole lot of important components in your engine. You don't want it to look like this, or valves that look like that. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to load that valve and push it down and up as smooth as possible in a straight line. It doesn't always work that way. You're gonna induce angles, and side angles are gonna put loads and stresses, and they're gonna wear things out. So we're gonna try to get things as straight and properly set up as possible. Now, first thing you want to do, you know, along your push rod, your stud, and your valve, is get everything in a nice straight line. Now, Dart has these great push rod guides that are adjustable, so I can move that back and forth. And if I put my arm on, you know, you can see quickly that if I adjust this tail end, my nose is going to be off center or right smack where I want it to be. So I get that set up, I lock everything down. Now I'm ready to work on the geometry from the side view. Now. The pivot point, obviously on the rocker arm, is right here in the center. Now, if I change my push rod length, I'm effectively changing my pivot point and the angle that I'm creating you know, with my valve tip. What I want to do is I want to sweep through about a 90 degree you know, between the, rock, the arm pivot. That's going to make sure that I've got you know, my angle to start with as I go through the motion. I got about the same angle at the full length of travel and I come back again. But I also want to make sure that I've got my load pattern right about on the center of the valve as I sweep through its motion. Now, a couple ways you can do that. You can put some magic marker, maybe some bluing, coat the tip, and I'm going to put everything together. And I'm going to rotate the engine through a full cycle. And that arm's going to go through its motion. It's going to sweep across that valve. And once I pull everything apart, I can look at my tip and see what my, my travel point are. I want to get that nice and centered. Now, if I'm a little bit too far towards the edge, I can shorten my push rod, move my pattern the other way. Now, if I'm too short, I lengthen my push rod, and I can move it towards the outside. That's going to make sure everything gets nice, loaded properly. I make all the power I want. My valve train components are going to last for a long time. I'm going to go out there and have a lot of fun. Yeah. 